Okay, so for C, your time is conjugate. Its conjugate will be 1 plus 2i. 1 plus 2i. Okay, so do it faster where complex number n is conjugate, it will become a square plus b square. Or I can directly calculate the answer 1 square, b is negative 2 square, 4. Okay, my calculation 1 square, 1, 2 square, 4. Negative 2 square is 4. Then only for the above here because there are Above here, denominator, uh, numerator here, there are different complex numbers. I have to expand one by one. That one cannot be fast any. 1 times 3, 3 times 1, and then 3 times 2, i, 4 times 1, 4, got i, and then 4 times 2, 8, and then i square. So i square, I can directly minus. So 3 minus 8 i squared is negative 1. Actually, I can short the, short the working minus straight away because we know i squared is negative 1. 3 minus 8 straight, straightly put negative 5 plus 10i over 5. So, negative 5 plus 10i over 5. It gives you negative 1 plus 2i. Finish. Come to question D. So come to question D. You have to be careful. Why? Because your complex number is not in order. What do you mean by not in order? Why the i come to front? So you have to rearrange it will be negative i and negative 1 plus i. Must put your complex number in order. Then you can do your conjugate correctly. The conjugate is negative 1, negative i. Okay. So we can use the properties that we, uh, that we memorize that. Complex number and its conjugate, I get a. A is negative 1 square, uh, 1. Uh. B is 1 square, also 1. So, numerator part, 1 times everything. Divide by 2. So, negative 1 over 2, negative 1 over 2. So this is our final answer. Make sure your final answer put in standard form. So you can go for our exercise. Have you done? Have you done? Yes. Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Okay, good. We continue for our exercise here. So express this. Express one over u. So u is a uh, is a complex number. Complex number, uh, didn't necessary to represent as z. A until z. Any alphabet can represent what complex number are. U equals to this complex number. V equals to this complex number. Express one over v. U one over v in standard form. So we have to do this. 1 over u plus 1 over v. What is that? 1 over 1 minus i squared. Okay, they are in order. v is negative 1 plus 2i. They are also in order. So when you want to do this, make sure our division go first. Okay, so this one divide by, this one divide by complex number means that I want to rationalize my complex number. I should times with conjugate. Cantikkan dia punya penyebut dulu dengan darab conjugate. 1 plus i. Supaya nanti dia dapat satu complex number macam ini. Tambah lagi-lagi satu complex number macam ni. Senang. Lagi senang. Okay. Plus. 
so it's conjugate here okay so do it what is that a is 1 square become 1 b is negative 1 square also 1 above there 1 plus i so for here a is negative 1 square 1 b is 2 square is 4 so up there okay so we can do the division this is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 i this is because 1 plus 1 is 2 this is 5 it will become negative 1 over 5 this one negative 2 over 5 i so after we rationalize this complex number we can do our addition easily so how to add it together you find how to add it together you find the real part with the real part just just press your calculator on it okay so you will get 3 over 10 so how about imaginary part and imaginary part just press your calculator where 1 over 2 you're going to minus a fraction 2 over 2 over 5 so it will be getting 1 over 10 i so this is how we simplify our operation here we have division together with addition together. So we do the conjugate by the chanted rule. Chanted as a complex number, then only we add up, or then we only we minus up, also can. So this is our answer. Okay. Have you done? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Okay. Yes. I'll continue for another exercise. So what's the difference between exercise two and exercise one? Exercise two is an expression. It don't the complex number isn't equal to something. But we come to exercise three where this complex number or after this operation is equal to this. So means this is an equation. When we have equation means we can move left hand side, right hand side. When we have an expression like this, which our working only can go down. Okay, calculate and go down, go, go down. You cannot move here, move there, you cannot. Equation only we can move left hand side, right hand side because equation it got left hand part, left right hand side, and right hand side it got two part. So for exercise three, question A, we give you the operation here. where 1 plus 2i p minus 2q equals to negative 1 plus i they say find the pq if your pq is real number it means this is your number okay so when this is a real number then just a number number p number q unknown it's an unknown unknown p unknown q what number is it we don't know we want to find it so what can we do this is a multiplication means 1p 1 times p 1p 2 times p to pi minus 2q equals to negative 1 plus i and then we can operate some more where real part this is our real part the things don't have any i is our real part so our real part is p minus 2q while our imaginary part here it will be only 2pi so equals to negative 1 plus i so when you say negative when you say equals to negative 1 plus i means that means that this real part is negative 1 this imaginary part is i so conclusion p minus q is negative 1 and then 2p is 1 2p is 1 uh, it's not 2p i is i uh. i just want to find out what's the number here so 2p is 1. So we find out we can get p equals to 1 over 2 
So we sub here, p equals to 1 over 2. Find our uh, q. So negative 1 minus, it will be negative 3 over 2. The q will be equals to 3 over 4. So this is a real number that we need to find. That will be our part A. Okay. Understand or not? Yes, miss. Can okay, so this is an equation means answer is given. Uh, so you can equal you can equal it real with real. Imagine if imagine. If question B, he said P and Q are complex number. And then Q is a conjugate of P. What's mean by complex number? It means P is the form of A plus BI. Lah. And then Q is a conjugate of it. means A minus BI. So in our equation there, it will become 1 plus 2I, where P is A plus BI minus 2Q. Q is A minus BI equals to negative 1 plus I. So we will substitute our P and Q as a complex number. So as a complex number means the form the form will be like this. Then the hint say that Q is a conjugate, so we make it conjugate, change the imaginary part become negative. So after we get this information, what we need to do is we try to expand and then we find out what's our AB. After we get our AB, then we know what is our P here, what is our complex number here. Okay? So we try to expand here where 1 with A is A, 1 with B is BI, 2AI, and then 2BI squared. After expand the first part, for the middle part, negative 2A plus 2BI equals to negative 1 plus I. So we see got I squared. We operate the I squared first. This one means... This one, okay, means negative 2b because i squared is negative 1. And then plus bi plus 2ai. What else can we simplify? We find out the, okay, we find out the real part. We find out the real part means the part without the i. This is real, this is real, this is real, or oh, no more. So how many left here? A minus 2B minus 2A. So means negative A minus 2B is real part. Then we find out the imaginary part. The I part is imaginary part. Here also of the I, this one also of the I. How many I here? You have B plus 2A plus 2B. So 2B plus B, we get 3B plus 2A, I together. So I put it together because this is one part of imaginary part. B, tambah 2A, tambah lagi 2B. So 3B lah sekali. This will equal to negative 1 plus i. So from here, we can build out our equation. What can we see here is negative a minus 2b is real part, which is equal to negative 1. Then 3b plus 2a is 1, imaginary part. So in order to solve here, I will do simultaneous equation. I will times 2 here so that they will getting 2 2a which are same I can do elimination when I times 2 this is negative 2a 4b negative 2 so this is first equation this one I rearrange so that you can see it clearly so I eliminate the a by 1 plus 2 so 2a negative 2a plus 2a 
will cancel off, successful eliminate, eliminate the A, leaving negative 4B plus 3B. We were getting negative B only. Then negative 2 plus 1, we get negative 1. So B is 1. So after we getting B is 1, we can substitute to any into 2, let's say. Substitute it into 2. 2a plus 3 equals to 1. So 2a equals to negative 2. a equals to negative 1. Therefore, after we getting a, b, that is not our final answer yet because question asks you to find what's your pq. It's not finding a, b, but your pq is in complex number four form. Therefore, your p is equals to negative 1 where your a a is negative 1, B is 1. Negative 1 plus 1i. So it do write, write like this. So Q will be negative 1 and then negative i. So this is the P Q answer. So this is all the some exercise about your operation on complex number. Okay.